Hello everyone! It's a daily run. It's me. We're ready! It's Eve! We are going to... Uh, Isaac? Now I believe you can tell whether it's an easy mode run or a hard mode run. But I don't know. So let's just assume it's a hard mode run. We're going to play Eve. We're going to try not to take stupid damage. We might be able to use Razor Blade to our advantage, but it does do a full heart of damage. So if we're going to take that red heart damage, we should take it in a constructive way. Probably by going to a cursed room, or just using it to tank a couple of hits on the first floor. First floor, of course, red heart damage doesn't matter, there's no deal with the devil on the first floor, ever. Why won't this person stay in range of my shots? Wow. There we go. I say in range, I mean in line with. I hate the erratic motion of these things. Plus, Eve starts with lower damage, I believe, than most, most characters. Eve's damage is... 0.75, or as it used to be, compared to Isaac's 1 starting damage. Well, we don't want to be going that way. The shop has nothing for us. We can probably manage that. Good. And pin. So pin should be okay, but knowing me, uh, it won't be. I'm sure... There we go. I was going to say, I'm sure I'll manage to take some stupid damage somehow. I really wanted to get rid of that, that little ruffian dogging my heels. Unfortunately, it ended up the worst for me. This pin decided to show his ugly face. Or look in my grill. That's over. We've got some money, we can get our HP back. We've got plenty of money, actually. Mm. Now we've got a good chance... Oh, shit. <laughs> well, took damage. Uh, we could die now, because I'm a dumbass. Of course, Eve's uh, Horror Babylon is a full HP, whilst most other characters, if they pick up Horror of Babylon from a deal with the devil or anywhere else. They have to get down to half a heart. Ah, uh, we'll re-roll this. Let's see what we can get. Uh, no. I want to give at least five cents, but apparently I'm not going to. Uh, blank card, yeah. Maybe we can get another uh, cent. I'd like there to be an uh, uh, arcade on the next floor, and five cents is what you need to have at least a chance of there being an arcade on the next floor. We did take some red HP. I'm more concerned about not dying at this stage, although uh, Horror Babylon versus Lust might have been a nice uh, nice thing to have. There we go. Did you see how much it accelerated just now? That was outrageous. So I'm going to have to try and make it turn these corners to slow it down, and we've done. Right. Balls of Steel. Human to Mises. Well, again, I'd rather have the survivability than the uh, Horror Babylon at this stage, but that may change. That's going to change if we can find any other form of HP besides red HP. Which means a deal with the devil on the next floor could be very valuable. I've done it again! Those damn spikes, look. I'm just leaving. The hell with that floor. That floor's going. Move on. So, the Isaac fight means obviously boss rush and hush. Not my two favourite parts of the game. Well, boss rush is kind of fun. At least it's randomised now and... You know, it, it changes over time, but Hush is probably a place we'll die on because that's what happens, because it's hard. I like this, so I'm having it. At least we have Horror of Babylon. We're that much faster than we were before, and we're that much stronger than we were before, and there's a Tinted Drop right here. With a uh, small rock in it, which is... It's a really good pickup, but it's not what we wanted, because what we wanted uh, was HP. Don't move my bomb out of the way, you bastard. Right. We have a spirit heart, but that doesn't mean we can take damage. Oh, I was hoping to get both of them. <laughs> that thing. The way these things move is just preposterous. I hate it. We didn't manage to get off. Wow, five cents, which is a shame. Genuinely didn't expect that thing to explode in the way it did, or in any way at all. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Are you a wizard? I am not. Uh, do we fight our boss now? I mean, we guess we could do this room. Ooh, that was very helpful. I might just go in there and see what they've got. Uh, I don't know what killed that, but I'm glad that it did. Oh, that's no use. It's rubbish. We'll try and fight our boss with Are You A Wizard on, because I don't want to wait as long as it will take for Are You A Wizard to wear off. Uh, which is unfortunate, but it's going to have to be the way it is. It shouldn't take too long. As long as we're doing some damage during this time and it's got... So there we go. We're okay. It's like, if you can't sleep, you should be in bed. Even if you're not sleeping, you're resting. It's better than, you know, being up all night and 
wasting away a pit of spare growth hormones is a decent pickup. And I will take my shadow because the Necronomicon sucks and I've got blank card on the vague off chance that at some point in the future we will actually get a card. So we went really fast on that floor, which I'm a fan of. Ah, I'm pleased with having been so fast. Please? Hello? Hello? Wow, this room is a pain in the ass. What did we get? A key. Key could be helpful, probably not as helpful as all the spirit hearts in the world could be. But they're not forthcoming, so... Yeah, we should take it. Again, Horror Babylon is very helpful, but HP at this stage is not dying, and not dying is important because it means we survive. Kind of by definition, I suppose. Good. Let's try and uh, land as many shots as possible so that these things die fast. No bombs, but that's probably the secret room there. If I had to guess, which I do because I can't see it. Plenty of keys. Mm, I mean, we should open it because... A, it could give us spirit hearts or a guppy item or something like that. B, doing this room will be points. This is a daily run. Points are necessary. Bone needs to be careful. The, uh, the splash damage from Mysterious Liquid is non-negligible against things like bone ears. Unfortunately, things are against the wall and things that can fly. No creep damage. It's fine, though. Uh, these things can just F right off, as far as I'm concerned. They've already done me a cropper once in that pin fight, remember? Well, it wasn't this specifically, but it was my eagerness to deter this. I think this is the secret room we decided to so put my money where my mouth has, or my bombs anyway. Definitely worth going to the shop now. So can find it. Not taking any damage, touch wood, but... Um, just <laughs> concentrating there, stop talking whilst thinking. Can't do both. Um, we only have one thing between us and our eternal heart, which maybe I should have left behind. Or at least not picked up yet. But that's not what I do. We're nice and quick, which is a benefit of Horror of Babylon. Uh, and Ball of Tar is a pretty decent item. Helps us slow enemies down, which puts, them in a, puts me in a better position than them, which is a position I want to be in. We're not really steamrolling this game right now. I have to be honest. We did find the... Well, there's a card, and there's a spirit heart, so we should probably buy both of those. Two of spades. We could blank card two of spades and get outrageous on keys. I don't know whether keys are that important. Uh, I mean, having a few of them and hush is useful, but... Uh, I can't really imagine that keys are going to be the difference between losing and winning, except... Maybe we get the points for as if we'd pick them up when we double them. So we could get a lot of points all the time. But uh, Okay, the bony just showed up at the last second. And there is a deal with the devil, which is interesting. Uh, I mean, we don't have to take it, but I'm going to take it. It makes it easier to stay in Horror of Babylon, although we are going to mature an eternal heart uh, on the next floor, which will lose us Horror of Babylon. <sighs> I'm chilly. Our heating's been off. Uh, the boiler's broken. Which is not great, because it's cold. Uh, so I've been a bit... Ooh. You know how it is. Blank card to a space is our weapon of choice. Oh, just use it. I'm not coming back this way, so... Why not? Uh, obviously... Maybe not obviously. Truly, I would like a better card to go with my blank card. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> Run away. Help. These things are not dying. Did you see that? They're just taking every hut, every hit. Maybe they're healing in between. Two of spades is not really a huge blank card thing. A get out of jail free card could be. Uh, oh. Now what are the possibilities? I don't know what to do with myself. This is a this is a revelation. There's new cards in Afterbirth. Ho oh, That was ballsy, but it worked. New cards in Afterbirth, new pills as well, but I've not had to put much thought into whether we use blank card with various new Afterbirth pills or not. Oh, there's a Tinter Drop over here. Wow. Actually, wow. That's our first hit since we picked up the, uh, my Shadow, though. So, I guess I'm a fan of that. 
I'm not quite sure why it's not black. But that's okay. Uh, Lil Steven is an item. I believe get out of jail free is... Do you know what? We might as well just use this. I'm going to keep get out of jail free. I believe it's just dad's key. So basically we've got a slightly worse dad's key. We can open any all the doors on any room. Every time blank card is available. Which I'm going to guess is this room if there's a secret room here. Yes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> no. So missing no will re-roll your run at the start of every floor. And possibly once when you pick it up. I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me. I don't think when you pick it up. I think just at the start of the floors. Uh, so if you're really into the, uh, the, the re-roll meta, by all means, go for it. This can get us back into Horror Babylon, which is very nice. Betrayal's going to bugger us up every single fucking time. We'll get a couple more points. We'll, we'll take some... Uh, some points penalties from taking this damage, but that's fine. I really don't care about that. I'm going to get in here, which is nice too. We can pick this up without ruining Horror Babylon for the rest of the floor. Uh, for the rest of ever. Extra half heart. Could protect us from an extremely unfortunate situation, but I have to imagine that... <clears throat> oh, that was close. With our newfound ability to not ruin everything all the time. We've got enough HP, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, we seem to have enough power, although we could always do with more because this is the Binding of Isaac, and if you don't have more power, you're doing it wrong. Uh, this is a great room to not be in this situation on, and I have to remember which ones of those are mine. That one was not. That's fine. Excuse me? Oh, right, okay, so what's actually happening here? What is happening? I can't tell which ones are mine. Because they're all, <laughs> they've all turned. <laughs> okay, right. They all changed colour, so I didn't realise that the ones that were mine were mine. That was interesting. It's fine, though. We lost a lot of HP just now because I got royally confused. It happens. We should get it back. I can't imagine that we're going to be in a dire situation for very long. Uh, here's some right now. Let's just go. If we can get out of here sooner rather than later, I'd like to be able to get out of boss rush with plenty of time to do hush. I don't want to do another really, really long uh, run, basically. That's just a free spirit heart. Not complaining. Good. I've noticed those things are exploding into bullets. And if those bullets are hitting me, I'll be sad. But I think that may be the case. Get Out of Jail Free is not a representative card for the sort of power that I would... Wow, that was really bad timing on that dodge. It's not representative of the sort of thing I would like to be doing. Uh, I mean, Dazki is fine, I suppose. But being as it is, we're not actually going to the Mega Satan fight. There's no way of opening the Mega Satan door. Please disperse. Uh, I didn't mean to take that, but whatever. I'm not going back to the arcade to undo that mistake. Uh, now I think about it, I should have checked to see whether it would have opened the deal with the devil. We could also check to see whether it will open boss rush, but... Whatever. <laughs> We're probably going to get to boss rush anyway, I have to suggest, because we've got eight minutes to do this XL floor. But hopefully there's a strong chance of us getting a deal with the devil, because an XL floor kind of takes one away from you. It's a, it's a bit of a shit show. And we've got this chap in here who's dead, and we've got this. So that paid for itself, except for the fact that it cost us HP to do it. We can check for a Tinted Rock. No Tinted Rock. Not that I could see. I'm, I guess get out of jail free at the moment is just an easy way to search for a secret room. Wow. <laughs> extra, extra wow. What did I do to deserve those coins, though? Oh, there's a fly here. Die. Retrovision, not, not my favourite. Stay up here because that thing's gonna hurt. Do that. Do that. Okay, good. What are you doing over there? Just hanging out. Trying its best to reach, but it couldn't reach. Uh, let's do the small rooms first. They're going to be quickest, I suppose, is my fudge. 
Right, so betrayal, I presume, just pheromones is all the enemies on the room when you get hit. That doesn't sound as good as I thought it could have been, based on the name. Although, based on the uh, tagline, turn my enemy, kind of makes sense. That's often a secret room, so I thought I'd have a look. Do you reckon it can open locks? I don't think so. It's only Dad's key, right? Man, this room. You've got to keep out of range of them, but they have this extra boost of range if the, uh, if the homing shot home actually gets a sniff on you. It's phrasing. Sounds worse than it is, I guess. Uh, I think one of our 64 keys... In fact, I'm just going to walk through here and take everything. Have a, a, a stupendous number of keys thanks to previous efforts. Uh, I mean, little Steven's kind of helping, I guess. The occasional extra shot. That's possibly a secret room there. We'll find out after this room. Uh, I tried to go down here, but it didn't work. <laughs> oh. I guess three of these makes up for the damage I took. But I wasn't I wasn't hoping to get a, a host out of this, and I got hit again. Whatever. Let's go here. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that was a bit of a pain. Host was in an awkward position and made it difficult to dodge the three shots that it was inevitably going to fire at me as a result of the... Wow, this room can actually go fuck itself. Oh, for little chubby. Just get out of it quick. Uh, bomb here to see what we've got. Hopefully a better card. The full card probably doesn't help. I don't know. <laughs> Who can say? Fool card, blank card fool compared to blank card, get out of jail. Yeah. Can't even begin to imagine which one's better. Although, uh, golden key is very useful. So, I'll keep that. And we're not very strong at all. I wouldn't mind finding a, an arcade on this floor, if possible. I assume it's possible. I believe XL floors can give us arcades. Or a... A... a, a uh, oh... Fuck. <laughs> that wasn't great. Uh, a demon beggar, I was going to say. We could give... No. We could give our red XP to a demon beggar. That would work too. Bad trip is the opposite of what I want. I actually want health, not to lose it. That was close, but we didn't. Fudge it. Man. With our Horror of Babylon, we're really feeling our own weakness. We haven't really picked up much in the way of actual damage. Um, ooh, the habit. Could be good. Is this a better card? Please, I don't even know. It really is not. Don't need any keys. Take the pill. I can see forever. Fine. Ever. Not amazing for us. We could... Probably reasonably easily find reasonably easily find the secret room or the super secret room using judicious use of get out of jail free. But I suppose we've got I can see forever, so there's that. Right now we're really just looking for the boss. Um, this room is pardon. <laughs> How do I even with a bomb? I guess. There you go. And I walked into that whilst avoiding that. Fine. Now we just uh, shoot them, I guess. What was that? <laughs> Suddenly there was a barrage of bullets. You all saw it. Everything's slow. Ev I caught that one. These things are randomly shooting at the perfect time for me to be in the same position as them. Which is upsetting. Wow. I know I said I had seven minutes to beat this floor, but I kind of didn't expect it to actually take all seven. Nah, I can't get through. This is a this is common for me on an Eve run where I start to take more and more bad damage and I I never sort of get out of that that pit where you just constantly second guessing yourself about how <laughs> how likely you are to do any better on this run. See that thing? These things turn around on a fucking dime. Right, good. Let's try actually beating these. I'd like a bomb to drop so I could get to the bombs that would uh, Drop bombs? Runes. Interesting. Blank card works with runes, which I had forgotten. So if we can get something like an AWAS rune, we can maybe do 
Oh, no, we can't do one more floor, actually. Degas, blank card Degas seems like a good idea. Let's see what else we've got. Her throw, that's a... <laughs> right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to blank card Yera. No, I'm going to Yera. Can we do all the runes? We do do all the runes. Then we can take blank rune, which is answers. Blank rune is... Hagalar's not great. Degas. Then we'll do Degas twice. And we'll keep hold of Perth Row. Okay, good. Uh, leave me alone. Thank you. Now, we need to really shape up if we're going to even get to bosses. Right, it's up there. We know now. So there is that. We know about that. Don't need that. Uh, not this way. Wow, it's a long way to the bosses. We did completely the wrong half of the floor. I don't know if we can make it now. We've got a minute to do all of that. Remember when I said I won't do the big room first? Oh, that was bad. Well, I should have. The big room was the correct way to go. Oh, I press Q! I meant to press tab and I press Q! Never mind. You can't dwell on that. Will you stop dodging my shots? You're hardly moving and yet I'm failing to hit you. I hate these things. Look at that. Tiny little movements and I can't hit them. Good. Oh, come on. See, we're doing such poor damage that I don't know if we can beat Mom in the amount of time we've got left. We haven't found a, an arcade. It doesn't look like there is one. So we're not going to be able to... Oh, fuck you. Just die. Please die. Thank you. Uh, we're not going to be able to get to the Horror of Babylon state. I just really want this to be over, so I'm just standing wherever it's most appropriate for me to hit things. I don't really care about... Oh, it's war as well. We've got to do two fights. I've forgotten. What just happened? I'm taking weird ass damage right now, I'm not a fan of it. Oh, can we even do this? I think maybe not. I should not have given up my get out of jail free card. Which I don't think I did now, I think. Right. Final plan, since we're stuck, is to go back and. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> this is such a hard room! What's happening? Right, ball of bandages. I'm gonna go back, get my get out of jail free card, remember about the floor room with spikes on it. In fact, you know what? We might as well do this. Because the points are going to help. We will see whether Get Out of Jail Free will open Boss Rush. If it doesn't, never mind. But this has been such a slow run. Unless you landed every single damn shot and didn't accidentally get stuck in the Horror of Babylon, uh, out of the Horror of Babylon state, then I'd be surprised if you could get there fast enough. There's just no damage on this run. I think we've picked up one damage upgrade. Maybe two... Yeah, we've got the, the syringe there. And small rock. That I remember, anyway. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. Where is it? Over there? Secret room? Yeah, I'll be in the secret room, won't it? Although we do have another Perthrow room. Uh, how about no? Yeah. Ah. Do we? Perthrow. There you are. Get out of jail free. Ugh. What do we do? Let's use this. I really want to keep the Perthrow rune, but I think get out of jail free probably represents our best option. I don't know. Can I even beat Boss Rush in this situation? That's a good question. Kind of expecting this run to be curtailed. Somewhat abruptly. <sighs> How many times am I going to do that? Well, I avoided at least one of them. So, go me, I guess. We've got an orbital, which certainly helps. Uh, but not that much. Not as much as not having all these spiders around the cup. Uh, just shoot Mom a lot. Where you at? So you've got to get to Mom. This uh, blue Mom fight, I used to be so terrible at. So at least I can feel better that I've improved since you know, memorable Isaac runs that have been mom fights. Blue mom fights. Uh, we could not have beaten this fight in time even if we'd gone... Well, maybe if we'd gone the right way, we had 12 minutes, right? But... You know, when I was running as fast as I possibly could to get here... Yeah, good job. Uh, we did get a deal with the devil. We will take the Polaroid. We will sell our HP. Oh, thank you. All of it? Yes. Right, now we're in the Horror of Babylon state, at last. 
and we'll see what this does for us. Nothing. And we've still got it. So it didn't get us into Barstrush and we don't get to keep our Perthro room, which is bad. However, I can do this and try and generate black hearts. Not, not necessarily working out so great, but all I have to do is fire for three seconds and then let go, and we can do this sort of thing. This is working out. So, more of the void, I think it was called. Call of the void? Something like that. Is going to recharge our HP to such a great extent that I don't really feel like Horror Babylon is going to be an issue anymore. The only thing I do think is an issue is the fact that Horror Babylon does not seem to be doing us that much benefit. Thank you. Probably could have used that to uh, expediate that particular process. Expedite? Probably. Whoops. That was, uh, that was me thinking that I had charged up more of the void and hadn't. So when I let go and assumed that walking into the particular enemy that should have died would have killed it. Well, I was somewhat surprised to discover that in fact the enemy was still there and I was walking full tilt into it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Well, <coughs> we didn't get to uh, more avoid that particular. Mm, I don't really want that. Maybe I do want that. Flatworm. It at least it increases our hitbox. It doesn't improve our damage in any respect. But our hitbox is bigger. I suppose that's something to write home about. Something to tell your mum you achieved today. Can't really uh, send it home. It's not like half my wages or anything. It's half my hitbox today is going to go home to my parents to help pay for their retirement or anything. It's really just... That little... I'm glad that wasn't the black card that landed in there. That would have been unfortunate. Well, we do have three bombs, I suppose, but still. Who wants that much effort? Please. Good. Conquest. Conquestador. Wow. The first thing you did was a homing shot that I didn't have to avoid. Well done. Kudos to you, you dick. This could be a good time to do this. It was. Uh, pardon me? That was bizarre. I really want to take these, but I don't think I can afford to. Well, now I certainly can't. <laughs> the fucking thing shot me! Absolute douchebag. Screw it, we're leaving. Oh, such shit damage today. I mean, the pentagram would have been great, but it wouldn't have been that much of a big deal. It doesn't, it doesn't knock it out of the park. It's not like it's death's touch, brimstone, mom's knife, etc., is it? The sun. Yes. Blank card sun. sun. Won't you come? Wash away the pain. Uh, it's exactly what I wanted from this. And another bomb lets me do this without feeling too bad about it. And this lets me get another red heart. I mean, even Dark Bum would have been great here. I mean, is that too much to ask? This is a really strong item. Super pleased to have it. So, kind of tempted to visit the curse room, although I know it's going to be expensive in terms of HP. Uh, yes, we can afford to do this. Because it will give us one red HP, which is not a problem. Well, container. There off. There, too far. Try not to take any damage from this uh, particular enemy, but I can at least. Oh, he stopped and then died. Which. I can't complain about it, but I was sort of hoping for a. Black Heart or two. If you don't mind. I got a Black Heart from the poop that I popped with my More of the Void, which is stupendous. Fan of that. Looking for the Black Heart. Probably not too concerned to look for a Tinted Rock now, because we got a Tinted Rock with Small Rock in it very early on. Ah, uh, go around the bloody corner. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to use coldness as an excuse, but I'm frigid as. No comments, please. Say foie. Um, keep using this all the time, basically. If nothing else, it's actually doing a lot more damage than our tears. It's like having an orbital that's slightly better. 
about three minutes to get up here and sort this out. I think we can manage it, uh, were it not for these particular enemies who are my sworn, well, enemy, I suppose. Once you put it like that, it doesn't sound that, that grandiose an achievement. These enemies are my enemies. Yes, good, excellent. Good, leave. Move on, rush. If we had to do one of the two rushes, which it turns out we did, uh, I'd rather it was boss rush, because it's a lot less boring. However, in terms of actually competing, uh, I think it should definitely be hush. Can we, um, can we do a thing where I get close and you stop shooting? Stopping shooting part was reasonably important, though. No? We can blank hard certainly and get some damage done, I guess. Did we pick up the habit? I don't remember. We may have done. It would have been smart to have done so. Did get a deal with the devils. So sell this HP or fight Krampus, I suppose. Fuck me! <laughs> Pretty sure there's no way of me avoiding that. I reacted as fast as I could. If I'd have gone downwards, there would have been no room for me to stand. I'm gonna get hit by these fucking fires again. Jesus Christ, Krampus. Always hits me with that. You'd think I'd learned, but no. Well, I got a penny for my troubles. Well, we have to do it. If we die here, we die here. At least it cuts the run short. We can all go back to bed, right? Let's see if we can get something decent from here. Stopwatch I am absolutely going to buy. We'll chase this. We will take this. What's this? Fair Pheromones, right. not brilliant. Blank card, Hierophant. <gasps> the day is saved. The Hierophant. This plus what we have in the more of the void thingy. It's going to recharge our HP something chronic. We've got plenty now. And we've got Infamy. Right, so now if we get hit, everything slows down on the entire room, which will last a very long time. GB Bug isn't very useful. Rune Bag could be. Then... Well, if we get hit, there's a chance that Infamy will save us. Uh, infestation, don't care about that. I'll take Demon Baby. If Infamy doesn't save us, which I'm not expecting it to, it's allowed to not save us, um, we will proc the, the stopwatch. Stopwatch will slow everything down. Which is great. Then... If we did pick up the habit, which I don't remember, our blank card will charge. Which will allow us to use the Hierophant to get two more Spirit Hearts. Now it's going to be half as many Spirit Hearts per charge as it costs to, to get the charge because we don't have the wafer. So every heart is going to be, every hit is going to be a full heart. Whoa, yeah, just like that. Well, we've already slowed everything down. Infamy, where were you? We didn't pick up the habit. Maybe that was a different run? Uh, what is your hitbox? <laughs> what actually is your hitbox, mate? But at least all these bullets are now slow as fuck. But they still seem to be lasting forever on the screen. Which is not my favourite. Small chance of actually avoiding them, though. I've got great range. I don't know how we manage this. Is that hitting? Slightly. This is kind of difficult to avoid. They're all closer together now, which is a, a bit of an issue. Yeah, so no nuns have it, which means we're not recharging blank card. But once we're through this fight, which seems likely, all the <laughs> speed we're going, we're just doing no damage. We're still not doing any damage. We have no strong power-ups of any ilk. It's very upsetting. Can't really use ball of bandages to do any damage here. Because it's just impossible to get close to Hush. The music's really weird when it's this slow. I mean, we could just stand still and let Dead Bird do all the work. Well, let's say stand still. We could just focus on dodging. Let Dead Bird do all the work. We could stand as far back as we can and let... Uh, Lump of Coals, Damage Bonus at a distance do a lot of work. But I'm kind of concerned that what's going to happen is I'm going to be stuck in this quagmire of shots that I can't avoid because... Apparently they stay on the screen for the same amount of time. 
don't know what's happening. Ah, right, here's an opportunity to use more of the void. So let's do that. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Blah. Oh, I walked into it. <laughs> yeah, it's the opposite of how you gain damage from there. Uh, how you gain HP from these enemies, but okay. More of them, please. And this time we'll try not to fuck it up completely. I mean, last ditch, I could just use the Hero Fan card without Blank card. We did pick up Rune Bag, which gives us an opportunity to replace the Hero Fan with something maybe better. But, but what, right? <laughs> can we get Black Hearts from these, maybe? Can we, can we even get Black Hearts from these? We've killed a lot of them and they haven't dropped one. Hmm. I'd like it if they would give me something splendiferous. Doesn't seem to be happening. It's not working out my way. The slowdown is really helping out with these continuum shots, though. It seems like Hush is not actually successfully reaching us, with which I am fine. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, blah! Excuse me? No. Well, watch out. That could have been difficult. Oh, yes, it's working. Perfect. Seems like it has a lot lower a, uh, a proc than I anticipated. Let's just shoot those. Get them out of the way. What's happening here? Oh, fudge. These aren't slower. <laughs> So I guess we lost the only HP we got through there. How am I supposed to avoid that when there's a literal wall of in tears I can't get past? Because they're so slow. Slowness, you have... You've done me a, a dirty. Oh, we made it. I actually nearly got screwed over by being slowed down. Let's <laughs> see if that ever happens. Is there anything in this shop that we can benefit from? Uh, this was a sun card, so no. This is a black, uh, a red heart, so no. There weren't any tinted rocks that I spotted. Cathedral time. Well, this is the last floor, luckily, because I am freezing my ass off to do this. I probably shouldn't be. Let's uh, do a couple of rooms, get some more HP back. We're stuck in Horror Babylon mode. Mode. State. Whatever. Uh... And our damage is passable at best. So, I mean, the Isaac fight is not extremely difficult. But it could take a while. It could not necessarily go to plan. I've forgotten about Demon Baby, actually. You didn't have much to do in the Hush fight. But uh, now that he's within range of enemies that are slightly less outrageous. You do some good stuff for us. Yera. Yera the Hierophant card. Take one. Use it. The Take one. We could break the game with the Yera card, I think. I just have to figure out how. I think the way to break the game with the Yera card is... There's a little tiny little bit of creep there that I did not spot. Uh, is to... Not need to use the Hierophant card. So stop taking stupid damage, and then we can retire the Hero Fan card in favour for the Yera room. Which will allow us to find a room with something in it. Oh, Infamy just saved us from a very close hit from a homing shot. I would like the Callus, but I don't think I can get it. Uh, if we find a room with a couple of drops in it, we can constantly Yera it, and just keep picking it up. We can double... Quadruple, you know, octuple. It would be a ge geometrical progression. How did you know where I was going to be? You jackass. That's fine. We could just Yera that. Oh, that's a great idea. Yera. See, I've got two Yera rooms now. Should have done that before. Right, there we go. Then we'll keep... I'll use this again. The Hierophant. Recharge the Yarrow Room. Well, recharge blank card. 
uh, pick up the error room. The error room will allow us to duplicate those HPs even further. Once that's done, I'll pick it all up. And we'll be golden. Uh, we've got five. Four and a half HP. Which will be more than enough to beat death at this stage. I mean, I'm not doing terribly. At least I'm winning this run. I would not, like, old me would have just capitulated completely on this run. I avoided Death's Horse somehow. Binky. Please. Please, Binky. Please. Ah, and of course, these things are actually immune to to the, the creep caused by Toxic Splash. The, the mysterious liquid, which is amazing. It's probably one of my favourite features of, uh, of that particular item. Jesus. Probably one of my favourite features of Mysterious Liquid is the fact uh, that those things that you have to shoot from the back, you no longer have to shoot from the back. That didn't work. I'm surprised. Hermit, not ideal. Tammy's head. Ah. Hmm. Tammy's head could be good, but I'm expecting it not to be, actually, now I think about it. Our tears aren't great. That's the only reason. I'll spend a bit longer. We can afford to spend the time to get the points that we need. So we'll Yera this. That's the Hermit card. That's not what I meant to do. What happened to my Yera card? That was dumb. I was going to Yera it twice and pick everything up, but apparently that is not to be. Answers. Okay. Don't want this. I want this. Please. How did I do that? Man. The time to tell Northern... There's a fucking... There's a... There's a... There's a self-sacrifice room, and we've yared every single spirit heart under the sun. Or we will have done. Uh... Every, hey, people. Watchers. Viewers. We can go to the dark room. Ha 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 Evil plan hatching? Yes, indeed. Wow, careful. Because we can Yera a shit ton of spirit hearts. Don't want that. Twice. I have got the Yera room with me this time. This time. That means we can probably afford to play the self sacrifice room. I do like this item. I wish I'd known how it worked before because I wasn't using it properly in the past. I picked it up and gone, well, that's okay. Not realising that I can trigger it. So we'll Yera that, and we'll Yera that, which is outrageous. Now we can go and fight Isaac. Go into this... Okay. <laughs> There's uh, another Greed fight, of course. We've already beaten two Greeds just today. Now we have Yera, the blank card, blank rune, which is blankety blank. All the blanks. Now we go down here. We beat Isaac. We pop open the super secret room. What's that, Hermit? Don't want that. We... Play it. Blow it up. Yeah, stuff in it. This could be our scene. Other people may not have realised that you can do this. Many people will have, so I'm not expecting it to be an outrageous coup. It's not going to put us at the top of the leaderboard, but I'm hoping to aim... Well, I'm hoping to aim. I am aiming. I'm... There's nothing there. Have you seen what's happening right now? I'm randomly being hit by stuff that does not exist. I shit you not. Uh, I've been aiming at top 500. Uh, the other day we got 530-ish, but, you know, adjusting for cheaters. I didn't check that one on greed, but basically is what I'm saying. Using this is not dissimilar from using Lil Brimstone, to be honest. You just charge it up for a while and let go. That was very close. He was dropping shots in my corner where I needed to be. Not down with that at all. It's like little brimstone that you have to get really fucking close. <laughs> Which is not what you do with little brimstone, you stay as far away as is literally possible. Right, so that's that done. Then now we go out here. 
I don't know what uh, Blank Eye Blank Rune is going to do for us. Well, I know what it intellectually is going to do for us. It's going to do as a random rune. I mean, I don't know how it's going to work out. I don't know how it's going to play out. I don't know how valuable it's going to turn out to be. Well, this room is nice and slow. I wonder if the uh, things that spawn will be nice and slow too. Come on. Let me through. Okay. It's a start. We have plenty more HP on the ground. I feel blessed. Well, good. It's just what I needed. Let's see. Hopefully we get the seven spirit hearts payout rather than the money payout. Uh, flight, I guess, helps. We're not going to get the opportunity to fight Mega Satan. Uh, but we will have the opportunity to fight the whole of the Dark Room, which is at least as valuable. And of course we'll have the, um, the teleportation bonus is outstandingly valuable. Right, now we'll go back and get basically everything else. Oh, we got a flank now. Uh, we can't go through a solid wall though. Unless we blow it open. There is a... uh, now I can fly, I don't need the callus. <laughs> Brilliant. Okie dokie. This is actually more HP than we can have. So we've got a whole other play in there. We do not need to worry about this. Did I decide to do this? Okay, let's do it. It's, a, it's another charge on our blank room. I suppose it's that. But there's also a few, uh, few points in it. The serious liquid really helping out whenever these things spawn out of the fistula part. Bad trip is not why I want. Whenever these things fall out of the fistula part, they kind of die pretty quickly. Slipping blank rune would have. Uh, a slipping rune bag would have maybe given us a few more runes than it did. Although it did give us two Yara runes, which allowed us to go completely outrageous on the number of spirit hearts that we had. Using a blank hard hierophant and then yara both the hierophant and the things that it dropped. Pretty pleased with that. That's going down in the annals of history, at least. My annals edited from my personal experience. Ah, that looks like coins. Well, it's points. What the points mean? Points mean I'm on the leaderboard and you're not. Careful. Okay. I don't know if we can just teleport whilst this is happening. Uh, oh, I walked into a shot, which I didn't see because. It's kind of one of the downsides of... Oh, I thought that was going to be a barrage, but it wasn't. One of the downsides to a slow room is that you <laughs> can't actually see the fucking shots as they come in. That's fine. Should have picked up the rest of the uh, HP, but... I'd forgotten that the very next one... Ooh. That's stupendous. That is really good. It gives us our HP back in the form of a spirit heart. And it's just a damage and tears upgrade. And there's some more spirit hearts, and I can't see a fucking thing. Probably going to take damage to spiders. Have to have to admit that. Uh, and <laughs> just randomly not knowing how to fight the dark one all of a sudden. I do seem to have forgotten how to play Isaac today, so I hope you'll bear with me. I'm doing considerably better than I thought I was going to. You know, I was complaining at the start. Man, man, man. Eve, man, man. No fucking HP, man, man, man. Uh, Perthro. Not too concerned with the Perthro rune at this stage of the game. But we did we did pull something out. Uh, besides our own fingers. Blank rune, blank rune. Agalaz does nothing for us. Blank rune, blank rune. Perthro does nothing for us. Another blank rune. <laughs> What's happening? Why do I keep getting blank runes from my blank runes? Is it like a, an ever... A cornucopia of... Rune? Is that what Runebag does? I don't know. Maybe there's a chance that Runebag drops a rune whenever you use a rune, or the rune has no. I don't know. So we're going to completely do this entire room. Floor. World. Universe. Where is it? Come back. Pop up. Pop up. Pop up. Pop up. Oh, that was good timing on the. Uh... Wow. That was good timing on the circle, and Infamy saved me from myself. Dear guys, oh, thank you. That was very unlikely to happen, and yet it did. Blank card L gives. Another blank ring. Bercano gives us a few more. A few, a few familiars. 
Yara gives us two Algis runes, okie dokie. So if we really need to, we can Algis at some point. Or we can just not. We can save our blank card for it. It's kind of hoping for a few more chests. You can get chests on the dark room that give you items. Not very often, apparently, but still. Would have been nice, game. There's still time. You can still come through for me. There we go. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. At all. Let's, go now. Uh, let's, uh, let's use the Algis rune. We've got a second one. And then this will give us more than enough time to use our orbital to kill the fuckers. I was asked today if I could swear a bit less on my videos so that you can watch it in the same room as his kids. Uh, how fucking no. They'll learn someday. Might as well bring it out early. Teach them how to respect the curse word. Teach them to use obscenity productively. Hagalaz does nothing on this floor. There are no rocks of any description. This is an odd shaped floor. Uh, I don't want that. I'm super stoked to have got that random teleportation to a deal with the devil at the start of this floor. That has probably done me very well. We've still got the Algis rune because we have two, because we yared it by accident. Hermit card does nothing for us, so we'll keep Algis. We now have the blank card charge, so we can use Algis again on an extremely difficult fight if we get scared. But we must consider that the lamp may be that fight. Uh, do damage while it's not being a dick. There we go. I mean, as long as we know where the boss is, that's half the battle, I think. Don't stand in front of these things. That's why! Of course, if I stood in front of the damn thing... That just landed on top of me. I'm pretty sure it emerged landing on top of me. Right, we've got room now. Two gates in one room. Just, just no space. But I remember how daunting this place used to be. Whew. Come a long way since then. One hour, lad. Trouble up mill. I'm really trying not to be hit here, but there's so many things on the screen. Good. Tremendous. What's this? Perthro. Uh, could be good. We can hold on to the Perthro and just use it as a Perthro rune. We don't have to blank card it. Although blank card Perthro is what I was hoping for at the, you know, the boss rush fight when we failed to get in. Oh well. That's 4,000 points we didn't get, approximately. You know, it, it could have been fewer because we would have taken some damage and we would have spent some time. And time costs points and damage costs points. But it was approximately 4,000 points that we lost. But I think we've made up for it by doing enough of our due... That was terrible. That was really, really bad. Enough of our due diligence. Uh, but we are now on the Darkroom, despite having gone only to Isaac. Well, teleportation bonus is going to be good. Wow, you just turned up and shot me. I didn't even spot you. Um, we don't have our hero fan card anymore. And we are not producing more <laughs> spirit hearts. So we are in a bit of a, a bit of a pickle. Because using as much as I am our black circle of death, it's not actually healing me faster than I'm fucking up. Uh perfect? But I can't know. Perthro. Number one. Hmm. Perthro? Uh, no, but we did get to see this. Super creep. Well, if you're gonna go, you might as well. Nope. Another Perthro would be brilliant. I wish I'd blank harded it now. I was feeling like I wasn't getting very many, um... Yeah, good. Well done. <laughs> feeling like it wasn't... We won't get very many items, so I didn't feel like Perthro was too valuable for us. But guess I was wrong. Spirit Heart there from Blue Famine. Shit. I'm beginning to wish I still had my Algiers room. Just so I could blank card it a bit more often. 
Oh, you died quickly. I suppose that was mysterious liquid helping out all that creep damage underneath what is essentially a ground-based enemy. Number one is probably not good for us. That's it. That's everything. So we take our Algis rune and we hope for the fucking best. Sorry, Craig. But fuck me. <laughs> Help. Uh, not very useful, I guess. Ooh. Perfect. Ah, perfect. Pheromones is not what we want. But let's come up in here. Let's go back up here. Let's make the most of this. There's two item pedestals here. Perthroad. Skeleton key, which could give us a lot of points, actually. Uh, Mystery Sack isn't going to do anything for us, so... We have got really good range. I'm going to take number one. Number one is a strong range downgrade, but a strong tiers upgrade. It's not brilliant. Our range, our remaining range. There are no battery charges, so... I mean, maybe I could have done something a little bit better. I could have used two Perthros, for example, because... But now I can use two allergies. Oh, yeah, perfect. This is going to win the fight, basically. Because our Cuban meat is going to do a lot of damage right now. Allergies last for ages. And we should probably do this every so often as well. And whenever we see that it's about to run out... Which I can't tell. Nope, we're okay. Yeah, we could have used two Perthros, but they're on the side of caution and win the game. See how well we make up for boss rush with our extra floor. 51 minutes though, what a lot. 561st, so even though we went that far, still only in a 561st position. Whatever. Didn't do too well, it was an even run and I won, so I'm happy with that. Well, thank you for watching, it was a very long video, but uh, I'm going to bed. Until next time, stay safe.